This house um, is a Catholic worker farm, or more accurately, homestead. Catholic workers are big believers in personalism, which um, is sort of like anarchy. It's basically um, a belief in taking personal responsibility for what's going on around you. So if someone's hungry, you know, it's our responsibility to feed them. If um, nuclear weapons are being produced using resources that would be better used to feed people and with the ultimate goal of killing people, then it's our job to do something about that. When you give somebody shelter, when you're sheltering homeless folks, it's kind of like um, every day you go out on the road and you see that someone's been hit by a car and you pull them out of the road and you fix them up and take care of them and then the next day you go out and there's two people out there and eventually, she described it as a train, you want to find out what the train is and the train to us is empire. It's militarism and nuclearism and um, corporatism. To me, the, there's a necessity to push the legal boundaries because our laws are um, generally go against what I consider the basic law of the universe of love one another. We have spent, you know, 20 years resisting the war machine and a lot of time holding signs in front of buildings and, you know, trespassing onto places and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I feel that that's really important work. Um, but no one can do that, at least no one with kids can do that every day. Especially when the kids were younger, there was always a question about uh, going to jail and having small children and wasn't that irresponsible and all that. Of course, people go off to the military, leave their family and children to go kill, and we leave our family and children to try to prevent killing, and we're considered bad parents. There's a lots of Catholic worker kids, uh, the same age as our kids, and um, they have their parents going off to jail, and uh, they'll commiserate about that from time to time, and uh, and they have this bond where they, they don't see each other much, like maybe once or twice a year, and they're like the best of friends, like family, like cousins, uh, and they, they really uh, enjoy each other and all, so uh, I'm sure they talk a lot about their crazy parents. Priesthood, I think, is part of my identity. I mean, I think that's uh, a truth about me that um, I tried to deny a couple of times. It's ironic that I'm probably the most Catholic one in our community and I'm, in the eyes of the church, the most defrocked. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's important for myself to be in resistance to empire every day. And so I am always looking for those small ways. And so it's, in a way, it's, it's heartening. You know, we always say the simple life is really complicated, but because every time you carry a load of clothes out to the line and you use the solar dryer instead of plugging it into the electric dryer, that's an act of resistance.